Pennsylvania is all around us, and we want to help you to explore our state. Hi, I'm Beth Erickson, museum educator at the State Museum of Pennsylvania. Join me today as we explore the state symbols of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is home to many fossils. If you had to pick a favorite fossil to represent the state, wait a minute, what's a fossil? Fossils are the remains, traces, tracks, or imprints of any plant or animal from a past geologic time that has been preserved in the Earth's crust. A fossil provides information as to the size, shape, or form of an organism, when it lived, its surroundings, and the conditions where it lived. There are many types of fossils and many different ways that fossils form. Fossils may be in the form of footprints, fossilized dung, cast, molds, impressions, or even petrified wood. Rarely is a whole organism found intact. Many animal fossils consist only of the hard parts because the soft tissue, like skin and hair, decay. Most plant fossils are separated in pieces. Not all organisms that die become a fossil. It takes the right set of circumstances for an organism to fossilize. Pennsylvania is home to thousands of plants and animal fossils, including the fossil of a small animal, a trilobite, named Phacops rana. In 1988, a bill was proposed to nominate Phacops rana as the state fossil, declaring that this tiny sea creature was a ruler of the seas that covered Pennsylvania during the Cambrian period and was found in many parts of the state. So on December 5th, 1988, Phacops rana was designated as the official state fossil of Pennsylvania. Today, Phacops rana has been reclassified as the species Eldridgeops rana, although from a legislative standpoint, the state fossil still remains as Phacops rana. Forty other states also chose a fossil for a state symbol. As a trilobite, our state fossil is part of an extinct class of arthropods, the trilobita with over 20,000 diverse described species. This classification includes Greenops, a small trilobite that lived alongside Eldridgeops and was more ornate. Diplura, a larger trilobite living at a similar time to Eldridgeops, had an elongated nose area. Isotelus, an older trilobite that lived before Eldridgeops, had a large head and hind area. And Olinellus, a much older and larger trilobite, lived long before Eldridgeops tended to have spines running along the sides of its body. So while the size and shape varied, these segmented marine animals all had similar bodies, divided into three parts. But the name trilobite isn't derived from the three body parts, but from the three lobes that are a consistent commonality found in all trilobites. As arthropods, trilobites had hard outer skeletons called exoskeletons, well-developed nervous systems, large antenna, and many appendages for swimming, walking, or feeding. Many species of trilobites had large eyes. The name Phacops rana means frog eyes, describing the large holes for eyes on this fossil. And while trilobites may be extinct, arthropods still exist today. You may have even eaten one for dinner. All arthropods grow by molting or shedding the exoskeleton. Paleontologists believe that it was easy for a trilobite to shed the outer covering as it grew because it could separate at the places where the segments joined. One trilobite could have molted multiple times during its lifespan, leaving the discarded pieces of its exoskeleton separated on the seafloor. Providing paleontologists, the scientists that collect and study fossils, like Eldridgeops rana, more specimens to learn from and discover more about the Earth's past. So the next time that you're out exploring in Penn's Woods, look for our state fossil in the ground beneath your feet, or for other signs of plants and animals that lived in Pennsylvania long ago. I hope you enjoyed learning about Phacops rana and its selection as the official state fossil of Pennsylvania. For more, visit our webpage.